What are you doing here? What does it look like, Dad? I waited for you. It's after two in the morning. Well, I can't sleep. You might be able to if you were in your own bed, which you will be in three, two, no, one. No, I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what happened to Britt in bed. Where is Britt? I demand to know her whereabouts. She's not here. I know that. She wasn't around at dinner time or when I needed help with my homework or at bedtime when she was supposed to read to me. All I can say is there's a very good reason for all of that. Is there a good reason why she's not answering my calls? I am worried. Spencer, it's all right, bud. Okay, it's, it's all right. How could you say that? Bray is missing and so is Ben. I asked Alfred, I could tell he knows something, but he still wouldn't tell me, even when I fired him. You fired our butler? I did, but he's still here. He doesn't respect my authority. That's because you don't have any. You're changing the subject. Something happened to Brett and Ben. What if it was Beetlejuice or the Chupacabra? Spencer, it's neither of those, okay? Britt and Ben have moved out. For how long? For good. Wait a second. So Ben belongs to Aunt Lulu and Uncle Dante? That's right. And Britt's not his mom at all? No, not at all. Always going to have a new mother and a baby brother. We are going to be a family. Why can't we still do that? Because Britt did something that wasn't very nice at all. Does that mean you don't love her anymore? What? Calling off the wedding has nothing to do with whether or not I still love Britt. I just can't forgive her. Because of the not nice things she did? That's right. So if I do something not nice and you can't forgive me, will you send me away too? No, 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 absolutely not. That would never happen, not in a million years. Why okay. not? Cameron says I'm not very nice. <sighs> well, see, it's different between you and me, OK? Because you're my son. You can't get rid of me, and I can't get rid of you, OK? Nothing would ever make me stop loving you, Come here. Are you sure? Absolutely. Oh. You're my best man, no matter what. All right? There we go. Here. You OK? Yeah. You sure? We could talk about it later. Okay. You're the one taking it on the chin. But I want you to know. I think it's better. Why would you know? Because I've been there. In fact, I'm there right now. Emma dumped me. Oh, man. What happened? Cameron and his stupid people home. Yeah, well, that's a tough break, man. She'll be back. <sighs> Why didn't you say anything? You clearly had other things on your mind. I'm sorry, man. I should have been there for you. It's okay. Uncle said he set me straight. He's good people. Yeah, well, he likes his nephew. And I like my uncle. That's why I'm worried. About your Uncle Sonny? What for? Uncle Luke is out to get him. What? What's this about Luke and Sonny? Uncle Luke doesn't like Uncle Sonny. Spencer, the two of them have been friends for a very long time. Not anymore. Where are you getting this? I told you. I heard Uncle Luke say it. Well, maybe you should have your ears checked. If you don't want to hear this, Dad, just say Wait, no, no, that's all right. I'm sorry. Tell me what happened. How do you know this? I told you. I heard Uncle Luke say it. So? He sent me at the party. I went to the stables to clear my head. And that's when I heard it. Uncle Luke was telling some man they had to get Uncle Sonny. What man? I don't know, but he didn't like Uncle Sonny either. Whatever you heard, Spencer, I'm sure you got it mixed up. You had to. I don't think so, Dad. <laughs>